Welcome to Chai Chat, a show where Chaldean Catholic priests will be gathering to drink chai together and to talk about things that are going on in the world and in the church and especially how they can relate to our lives and our faith. We'll be gathering weekly on this show and we hope that you enjoy it and we'll be uploading on this new channel that you're on for St. Peter's Diocese. We hope that if you want, you can leave comments in the comment section on this video and on future videos so that we can answer any questions that you have relating to the topics that we're discussing or anything else that you think we should address on this show. In this first episode, we're going to be talking about things relating to the church's response to the coronavirus, and especially what we're going to start off uh, talking about is what you at home can do during this quarantine time to stay in touch with your faith and with your relationship with God. So we hope that you enjoy the show, and we hope to see you soon. Oh, I can pull it up. Why don't you pull it up? Everyone has that list of books. I wouldn't read it right, directly off of that. What's the website? Yonan.blog. Yeah. I um, you all have a list of books that you've been meaning to read for 20 years. Start one of them. Don't feel pressure to finish all of them, but just at least start one. Uh, you have prayers that you've been meaning to start, a habit of prayer that you've been meaning to like begin. Start now. You've got the time for it. Uh, again, be forgiving because it's a weird situation and you're... you're uh, adapting, but start, do something, do something positive every day in that way, in, in a spiritual way. Uh, what else did I say? Oh, so, you have a list of things on Netflix that you want to watch? Yeah. yeah. So you Lord actually of the had, Rings? Yeah. You had something cool that you mentioned, so it was not part of that list, but you had a post that said open letter, mm-hmm. and it had to do with silence, and I think silence is uh, okay. probably one of the most important things you mentioned. So I was talking to somebody today who was venting about <clears throat> their kids because they're stuck at home and they can't either they, it's not just that they can't go to work and like as if they want to like get away from their kids uh, but also like being around the same people all day long can get really irritating yeah. so uh, whether that's your situation or not like find some time to actually have some quiet I know that's not easy with, for parents with toddlers uh, what, but whatever sort of moment you can sneak in try to try to have that uh, otherwise my, my other advice would be like the, the sort of inner silence is, is something that requires a kind of effort to sort of tell yourself, okay, yes, the situation's annoying, and yes, my daughter and son are being annoying right now, but don't complain about it, and don't complain about it to yourself, because that's just going to add more noise, and it's just going to add to the frustration. So kind of see, seeking that inner silence, silence. A theologian, he's a French priest, he mentioned, and it was really cool, he mentioned how uh, the most important things in life are in silence, you know, and he gave examples of you know, the blood running through your veins, uh, you know, something as beautiful as a flower blooming and God, of course, who works in silence. So you're yeah. only able to attain that silence if you're in it. Yeah, I think one of the one of the dangerous things that's happening and, and that could be a, a result of, you know, all of this stuff going on with the people staying at home so much is that, you know, everybody's already, you know, addicted a lot of people to their phones and to social media and, you know, music and Worst things. Uh, yeah, TV and all that stuff. And they're already doing it so much while they're living their normal life and are, are already so consumed with it. But now that they're going to be at home so much, they're going to have the uh, temptation to just, you know, be on that even more. So I actually find that more agitating than anything else. What? Uh, being on my phone and being on screens all day. I mean, my, my eyes were hurting the other day just from looking at screens so much. Yeah. Uh, because we're having, we're having to do this sort yeah. of online stuff. Just sort of like, okay, even if everything else is sort of being a hossa around me, let me just like not look at a screen for half an hour. That could be whatever silence you're, you're able to get at that moment. That's in the experience of people too, right? I mean, like whenever, you, you know, we did Exodus 90, right? So whenever anybody does Exodus 90 or they, you know, go offline for an extended period of time, almost universally everybody says, you know, they found so much more peace, they found so much more mm-hmm. uh, serenity in their lives and things have kind of clicked into place more easily than they would have before because they were so distracted by social media and all these things that are going on online. So, yeah, I think this is a good opportunity to back off a little bit and take the things more important in life more seriously. All right, thanks for having me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what is that bar? Uh, peanut butter. Nice. Protein bar. Creamy peanut butter. I'll be eating that later in the show. Mm-hmm. Look forward to that. <laughs> so... One thing that I want us to discuss is the church cancellations and all the stuff that's been going on because of the coronavirus. I mean, 
we were the other day having lunch with uh, Bishop Emmanuel and uh, Father Michael Bazzi. And, you know, Father Michael Bazzi's been a priest for over 55 years. And the bishop, you know, probably about like 30, 30, yeah, 30 40 years. 40, I think. Yeah. yeah. And they said they had never seen this before in their lives yeah. as priests. And so this is, you know, obviously something very unique. We have masses, uh, public masses. Uh, canceled on Sundays in a lot of dioceses in the country, probably most of them. I think, I think, I think every yeah. single one now. Yeah. Do you think every single every one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. Every, yeah. every single Catholic diocese in the United States. Which is very, obviously very sad. I like the people that are acting as if like priests are all like happy that we have this time off because yeah. like, please don't think this is this fun thing for us. So the first response I, I noticed was obviously everyone was shocked, but then uh, there was a big push of how are you closing the house of God, you know, to the faithful? How are you how are you possibly doing this? How's the church doing this? Yeah, but it's not as if we're doing this, you know, like you're saying, Father Andrew. Well, first of all, it's the law. Like way. it's it's yeah. a decree from the actual government. So if you expect us to break the law because of a certain opinions that you have from the position that you're at, you're not the one that has to make this this decision. You're not going to be the one that has to answer for it. So I'm not quite sure everyone who's expressing an opinion deserves to have an opinion on this. Uh, second, though. Whether it's the right thing or not, it's a judgment call. The church has had to do this before in times of plague, for example. Whether or not this is justified in your opinion as if you're some professional, like, medical person that exactly has some... You're, most likely, you're a dude that's looking on Google like everybody else. You're not the one that's going to have to answer for this in any way. Um, it's a judgment call. Literally every bishop in America has made it. The Pope has made it. If you disagree with the judgment, it's not like anybody's happy about it when we're, we're sad about this, but it's just the way it is right now. Um, and hopefully we'll end as soon as possible. That's Sorry for being a little harsh. No, it's, Actually, no, I'm not sorry. No, no, you got to be yourself here. Uh, there's a lot of people saying that, um, you know, the early church, they would be martyred and, you know, they would uh, go against the, the, the persecutions. Underground masses. Yeah, so. this the, is the early this church. not like that, right? No, yeah. because the early church didn't sacrifice the elderly so that they yeah, could yeah. feel pious and make it to mass on Sunday. And that's what essentially what would happen if we didn't do something at least very serious. And again, that's why it says in canton law, <clears throat> when it comes to a great matter, a bishop has the authority to dispense the faithful from yeah. fulfilling their Sunday obligation. It's not in there for fun. It's in there because it's practical. Yeah. And the church is practical, you know. And from what, what we know and from what even the you know older priests know, this this hasn't happened. It's like not a usual occasional thing that that happens. It's it's very, very rare, only in grave circumstances, which is what the what the canon law says. Yeah, what I hear some people say is uh, is how can we how can people believe that if we enter the house of God then we're gonna get sick? Aren't we gonna be mm. safe in the house of God no matter mm. what? Well that's yeah. you know, that's actually a <laughs> witchcraft? Which, Someone, yeah, superstition. <laughs> yeah. It's a heresy in the church called fideism. You know, we're not just angels, like spirits just kind of like floating around. Things actually do affect us bodily, whether yeah. in the house of God or outside of the house yeah. of God. And so that's something that we have to take very seriously. Someone actually uh, commented that exact thing on my um, Instagram post really? yesterday. Right. Yeah. So and the irony, of course, is that's literally what the devil said to yeah. Jesus. Yeah. You're on top yeah. of the temple. Oh, throw yourself off trust. And, and God's angels will protect you. That wasn't Jesus. That was the devil saying that to Jesus. And Jesus replied, you shall not tempt the Lord your God. So again, that's Christ's attitude is, is much more sort of humble and serious than, than this attitude of, oh, just, I'm just going to kind of throw myself in and we should just always have church and nothing should have changed. Well, yeah. look which side you're picking here. Yeah. So going back to the dispensation we're talking about. So this is what canon law says. If participation in the Eucharistic celebration becomes impossible because of the absence of a sacred minister or for another grave cause, it is strong, strongly recommended that the faithful take part in the liturgy of the word if such a liturgy is celebrated in a parish church, etc. So, so, okay, so what that's talking about is where there's not priests, for example, in parts of the world where there's a really, really serious so shortage. Yeah. What they're saying there is people should gather to hear a deacon or somebody else yeah. mm. read the gospel and preach it and do that. And in this yes, case, it would be your family and your home. In this case, I mean, one application I think that, that you could kind of make a parallel with could be that. Yeah, sure. Yeah. My mom asked me to do mass in the <laughs> in the house for them, but I said no because then <laughs> then, then you're picking favorites. Yeah, then nepotism can't do, it. can't do that. When uh, we were talking about the you know people going into church and like not getting getting sick by a by a by a miracle of God somehow. I know, Father Danny, uh, you've experienced uh, somebody 
die in the church, right? Yeah. So it's it's not like once you go in there, you're like automatically yeah. going to be free from all uh, yeah, yeah. physical oh, shamash, right? harm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> was, yeah, 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 it was crazy, crazy moment. Here's the thing, like, the, the dispensation is a serious thing. Don't think that, oh, just because a bishop has the right to say you don't have to go to Mass because of this serious problem, oh, that means you don't have to go to Mass anymore. <clears throat> the, the entire category of what you have to do, if you're thinking of what is absolutely necessary, you're just using the, the language of bare minimum. And that's not the way God works. It's, it's that, look, a Mass is where you receive the body of Christ. This is the place where the sacraments are available to us. And it's something that we should try to receive as much as we possibly can within our lives. If we can't for some serious reason, the second that's removed, I mean, I for one am going to rush back. And, and, and uh, Here's the thing, I, I don't blame if somebody's like, oh, you're a priest, it must be easy for you to say you get to say Mass on your own. And sure, I'm, that's fine. That's, you know, I'm not going to say sorry for that, but I get that, that that's frustrating for everybody. But yeah. um, the sacraments still are the sacraments, and it's heartbreaking on your side, I'm, we know to not be able to receive them directly. It's heartbreaking on our side to not be able to provide them in the way that we were yeah. before. So. Yeah. There was a, a quote that uh, you had actually uh, referenced in your blog. It's from the uh, Patriarch Daniel of the Romanian Orthodox Church, where he basically said, it's a, it's a longer quote, but I'll just paraphrase it, where he basically said that all of them actually drink out of the same chalice. And so he said, we're going to still be doing that, and we're going to still have the kissing of the holy icons. And if you don't do that, basically it means that you're lacking faith. And I disagreed with that. Yeah. yeah. I wonder where he's at, where is that now, because that was two yeah. years ago. Yeah. I wonder, I wonder if he's changed that and if he's either adapted to what the... I could check, by the way. Yeah, check and check. see. What's his name? name? Patriarch Daniel. Not Father Daniel. <laughs> Patriarch Daniel <laughs> of the, the Romanian Orthodox. We'll see who's the uh, big man. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Yeah. Eh, but I'm a... Eh? He has a nice beard, though. <laughs> he has <laughs> beard. Well, that's a wicked beard. We could show you guys a picture of him, maybe. Yeah. You see that? In post-production. Look at the beard. Fix, fix it in editing. This one? No, no. Wow. This. The guy yeah, yeah. who edited the Moscow beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. This one. Yeah, yeah. Um... No, nothing really. Okay. Yeah. So we'll, we'll check and see. We'll, we'll check we'll get, and we'll see. We'll get back to you. So, um, what are you guys doing now, you know, with all this um, extra time that you have, you know, because we have our, we have our normal routines yeah. in the church, but now it's kind of different. So, uh, you guys want to share a little bit about what you're doing? To, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> we have yeah. our we have our monastic schedule in the monastery, you know. So we're sticking to that schedule. We do uh, holy hours throughout the day and uh, daily mass, morning prayer, evening prayer, rosary, these kinds of things. And we're all really offering up the intentions of the people. And we're trying. I am, and I know that the monks are as well, trying to bring uh, the people to our remembrance as we're in front of the Eucharist, so that um, we're praying for the people and that Christ can really make His presence. Felt to them, even if they're not in the presence of Christ in the Eucharist. I'm trying to do that as much as I can. Yeah. How are the monks holding us? The monks are doing okay. I mean, we're all, we're all That's praying awesome. together. We're yeah. all doing the activities together still, and yeah. we're doing more things online, as you know. So. Yeah. yeah. Um, I thought I would have a lot of free time. Yeah, I know. Me to too. Be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm busier than I was. Oh, I know. Gosh. Me too. Honestly. You know. Thanks a lot. Yeah. yeah. Video people. <laughs> I take back what I said about the chai. It's honestly pretty Thank solid. you. Because I don't like uh, really dark I just want to so. say, I, I wish we could have hair in it. I don't know. How do you guys feel about hair? I put it on. I don't, so hair. Next time. I don't care. Hair is cardamom, right? What? I use halib. Oh, yeah. So you you you, you, you usually start have halib, which is milk, and uh, sugar, no? Yes. So so now you're going clean I'm without a, it. I'm a child. Yeah, you could fast during, during Lent now from m milk and sugar. Yeah. Yeah. What did this guy say? Okay. See my notes. What do you say? So this, this is, is what was published on March sixth. March sixth. Right. The, it's yeah. after. No, that's when. He no, that's that's when he did it. Yeah. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> that's the one. You sure? Yeah. Okay, then no, he doesn't have another one, man. Um. What are you doing now? So that mm. you're free. I'm not free. I'm busier not than free. I was before. Busy. I am dealing with this junk. <laughs> preparing All for online stuff. classes at John Paul the Great Catholic University. Mm. Yeah. So I, we, I, it took me 
several hours to even find a place that sold um, webcams, webcams because everything sold out because everyone has, has to do classes online. Doing that stuff, uh, doing my usual praying, obviously, and, and trying to write, but I'm not even having time for that. And then dealing with a lot of people sort of answering questions and, and yeah, yeah, with, with yeah, people yeah. on social media and stuff like you guys do. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of people reaching out, yeah. which uh, we're, we're encouraged by, you know, all the people that are following what we're doing on social media. You know, we as priests want to have a, a connection with the people that we serve. And now while we can't have a physical connection with you guys, this is how we're going to be doing it for now. And, you know, we're just doing our best. I'm uh, trying to trying to study Latin, you know, uh, trying to read more. Um, going to be doing a Bible study, most likely virtual Bible study, live streaming. Can you give us a sneak peek? Yeah, I'm going to be doing uh, the Gospel of Mark Bible study, oh. most likely. Yeah. Hollywood gospel. So, yeah, Hollywood gospel, because it's so fast-paced. Great gospel. You're going to do a Bible study, no? Yes. Yeah? What are you doing? What are you John? doing? Oh, you're doing Revelation, right? Revelation, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing the opposite. I'm, I might continue my Genesis one. Yeah, you I should, online. I have, like two, I have, like, two more weeks to post really? anyway, like... Oh, good. So, so you're oh, ahead. Father Simon reminded me of uh, the book Dr. My Michael Barber came yeah, out. Yeah, coming, coming soon. Coming soon. I forgot I had it. That's like my... his first book. He's not very proud of it. I know, but... Read his so... new book called Salvation. No, no, Catholic for should Revelation. Know. For his Revelation thing. It's, not, it's like really old. It's not like his favorite book. <laughs> it's no, kind of awkward. I, have, okay, I, know. I know. Hopefully I have. Barber's not watching this, right? Um, but I'm sure it has he might resources. Be. He might be. Kim's been watching There's a lot of puns. Oh, really? Really? There's a lot of puns in that book. You had a lot of puns in your book. Right? I do I not have a single pun in my book. I hate puns. Thought oh, really? Them. Not one. Really? No, puns are a <laughs> But I thought his book was, um, because it was kind of Do like the general audience. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, moving on. Um, <laughs> What's the next topic? What's the next so topic? next topic is... Um, how to be your man. I know, that's why you I got the going. No. Yeah, how about the... Uh, oh, AC was... going to be medical. condition. What? So can make a We're here, by the way, at St. Peter's Media Center. Using this room for the first time. Using this room, yeah. yeah. We've been, if you've been watching like the, the live concerts that uh, Father Danny has <laughs> been having concerts. doing with uh, Lue, our music guy, and uh, Monica, the English choir director. This is the same spot that we're doing it in. So the next thing is, I uh, want to see if you guys have ideas for the people that are stuck at home and that don't have um, access to. God's grace when it comes to the Eucharist, right? But how can we receive God's grace in, in other ways? You know, those, those people, like uh, I was talking to a guy, for example, the other day, who said, I've been so used to, he used to come to adoration before work and after work. And he used to confess regularly. And so he was honestly very confused. And um, he had a lot of, um, you know, changes in his life. He felt a lot weaker. So, what do you guys think uh, people can do now that they're not going to have access to the Eucharist? I think this is a good opportunity. I mean, the family's coming together, right, because things have slowed down. So, I think this is a good opportunity. If, if you're not already uh, praying with your family, if that's not already a habit in your, in your house, I think this is a good opportunity to make that a habit now. Um, and so, I think praying with the family is really healthy. Reading scripture daily is a, is a really good habit to get into. And then even discussing what you read with your with your family members and um, coming to understand it on a deeper level through discussion and reflection. Yeah. yeah. I was actually, so yesterday, I think it was yesterday or the day before, I was walking outside. It was, um, you know, it was around six or seven o'clock. And obviously we haven't seen cars in the parking lot for I don't know how long. And I saw a car parked right in front of the chapel, you know, by that gate. And I just saw a guy sitting in his car, staring at the chapel and praying. Mm. And I was thinking about it. You know, when someone builds a habit or is so attached, yeah. you know. I, I want to cry right now. Yeah, has an attachment to Christ. <laughs> yeah. it, it really shows their true colors. So that's why I was saying we went live, I think it was on Father Andrew's blog, um, of how important it is to get out of your comfort zone. That's when, it, you know, your true colors really start showing. And you actually make an effort when you know, you're in difficult times like this. And, you know, hope for the best, you know. What do you think, Father Andy? Any ideas for those that are at home? Nope. To <laughs> pray more? No, you go, you guys say. Yeah. yeah. Just do, do praying and stuff. I think it's a good time to read the Bible more. 
So yeah. Bible, your Bible study, our Bible studies will help, hopefully help that. Yeah. You're uploading Genesis, right? Yeah. There's already four on Genesis up, and there's one on Lent. And then I have one on the book of Jonah. I'll, I'll, oh, I'll upload that next week. Oh, uh, during so Jonah. Nice, during, nice. Oh, nice. by the way, well, we're going to be releasing this on Monday, right? So oh, I need a post hopefully. Like so on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, which we will be going through it right now, as you guys are probably watching this, we're going to be doing uh, Ba'utha prayers, uh, so, so the supplication prayers for an end to this virus and for God to give us all strength to, to deal with it. But you obviously do not have to do the Ba'utha fast. Just participate in the prayers with us. So and just do your normal Lenten fast. Speaking of the Lenten fast, uh, people were asking me, they're saying, now that the situation in my life is different, can I adjust my uh, Lenten goals? Like, for example, one, yes. one person asked me, she said, uh, I gave up watching TV for Lent, and now I'm going to be home all day. Yeah, you I don't know? see why not. I think I you should mean, adjust it. It's, yeah. be, be reasonable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you don't want to, that's by, by all means, don't. But you know. Obviously, you make your own rules with Lent, but yeah. the more you, you can put into it, you can probably add. I mean, like, if you're going to be a little more lenient on your Lent and fast, you can add a Prayer Extra prayer. Yeah, yeah, something prayer. you could do to, to Yeah, adjust in a good reason. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Yeah. yeah, I was I was saying also, you know, you can do things like um, you, you're going to give up like watching TV or like being on social media. So why don't you try to be on a good type of social media? Like, you know, get on formed, get on or like watch good Catholic content. Like hopefully this will turn into one day, right? <laughs> um, so yeah, do stuff that are good. I think during this time where a lot of people are not going to have access to the, the Eucharist, I think you actually have to pray even more than, than you normally would in your homes, you know, reading the Bible. Try to, you know, uh, sometimes a lot of people have a hard time reading the Bible, but if you guys can, just, you know, read like a little paragraph maybe with your families and maybe talk about it or just talk to each other, just to yeah. talk to each other, you know what I'm saying? It's probably a good plug for formed. Yeah. Yeah. So we're stuck don't, formed. Yeah, don't be intimidated by yeah, the Bible yeah. before you no, yeah, yeah. go. But do not be intimidated by the Bible because I know it could be, you know, sometimes intimidating when, you know, you think about the Old Testament, but it's the Word of God, it's a living Word of God. Give it a chance. You know, and if it's your first time reading the Bible, start with one of the Gospels. Start with. Mark, you're gonna. Yeah. Saint, Saint Augustine. Saint Augustine said that the Bible is written by God in such a way that it's simple enough for children to understand, and it's uh, profound enough that uh, adults can be really illumined by it. So, I think it's it's the Word of God. It's applicable to everybody, and God always speaks to us through Scripture. Should I mention Form? I'll yeah, mention please form do. Form Form org is an app and a website uh, made by Augustine Institute. Um, I describe it usually as basically Catholic Netflix. Uh, it's a subscription, and you can go on there and watch Catholic uh, movies. There's audiobooks. There are shows. There are Bible studies. There are theological. There's a lot of theological content on there. There's many things. It is a subscription. However, uh, if a parish pays for the subscription, it can the parish can give it to our parishioners for free. And so uh, St. Peter's Calvin Church uh, parishioners in San Diego have free access. To formed and uh, you can tell them how to. Father Peter, uh, Father Peter, yeah. done. Uh, uh, we can put the link in the in the bio. Yeah, yeah okay. while Peter, you like and subscribe this new uh, he YouTube had a solid channel. Yeah, video on yeah. Uh, subscribing to it. Okay. Just smash that notification bell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is probably gonna be the first video on our new channel, right? The guys channel. Uh, <laughs> you wish. What do you just have right maybe. now? Maybe protein bar. Yeah. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, we sure might get like a mass up there, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Thank you so what much. What is it? Um, <laughs> I was going to say something. What was I going to say? You want some more chai there? No. How's the air conditioning coming? It's good. good. I can feel air it. Air conditioning, yeah? Yeah, it's great. I can't. Well, well, we're also drinking hot chai right now. And so we're in Cassick. And we're in Cassick, and it's very hot in this room. Um, well, thanks for having me, guys. <laughs> yeah. We can finish with a prayer. <laughs> <laughs> what else is on the agenda? So, we're going to talk a little bit about um, what Father Ankito mentioned the other day in your little uh, uh, homily thing about sin, you know, and, mm. you know, spreading how, how sin can have a lot of social consequences for those around us, but a lot of people don't really see that. 
and it's kind of like uh, the the virus how it um, affects people. So you wanna you wanna say something about that? Yeah. Um, what I said in there was a YouTube video I think I did um, is that <laughs> coronavirus is a really good analogy for sin. I think because it spreads so quickly, um, it grows exponentially. Uh, it's very silent. We don't see all the symptoms. We don't know the all the effects, uh, we can't perceive it right away, but it spreads very, very quickly, even if you don't see it spreading, and it spreads so fast because we're so connected with one another, right? So we're not just individuals kind of floating around the earth, we're actually connected to one another so tightly that when there's a virus, it spreads really quickly, and sin is the same way. Sin is like the coronavirus, where it spreads very quickly because we're so interconnected. When I do something even if I'm the only person doing it, nobody else knows about it, and uh, nobody else is involved, I'm affecting all the people that I'm connected with, and all those people will affect all the people that they're connected with, and it just kind of grows from there. Um, coronavirus has become a pandemic because it grows so fast, and I think sin is, in a spiritual sense, obviously, it's a pandemic that has grown everywhere and throughout all of history since Adam. So, um, yeah, just, like, coronavirus is such a big pandemic, and so is sin, and kind of way it grows what you know what's alarming what how a lot of people are not taking this seriously speaking of sin so i don't know which social media outlet i was on but there were a bunch of people just partying <laughs> at the beach or something yeah, yeah. spring break in Florida. Oh, that was what in Florida. You, yeah, like yeah. what in the world what is doing? going through your mind so not only being careless about this virus that's going around but also you know, welcoming sin. Yeah. You know, during this time where everyone's just shocked. Yeah. And that's one of the good things about it is that, you know, for example, a lot of people like abuse such a good, uh, you know, feast day of St. Patrick, who was such a holy man and who, who, who had a great influence on the, on the culture to become Christian. But people abuse it. And, you know, they get drunk and party. And the bars... <laughs> And the clubs had to close the day before St. Patrick's yeah. Day yeah, last week. Funny. Yeah, so not funny to the wait staff. That happened. Huh? So what? Not funny to the wait staff and those people that. Yeah, I know, I know. That's like a month worth of their living. Yeah, uh, I know. But all of that, that happens, it works. A lot of them are kind of relieved, though, aren't they? In a sense. Well, yeah, because that would have spread it really well, bad. Well, I heard. Am, yeah, I heard Amazon is hiring over ten thousand employees just for that reason to bring out St. Patrick's Day. Huh? What is it? No, oh, that's what I should say. The, for all the people, oh, to hire people that are oh. a lot of people cannot work from Good. home, like waiters. And, well. Yeah, and Amazon is probably getting a lot more yeah, deliveries yeah. these days. You know, that's good though if they're doing that. Yeah, what's your latest Amazon purchase? Yeah. If you're willing to share, I've, I've spent over a grand on Amazon the last couple of days. Oh, really? I'm buying all this stuff for you guys. Priests make money. <laughs> do do we ever? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Amazon, last purchase. Last purchase. Last yeah. purchase. You guys all do it? Yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah. But listen, it has to be your last one. It has to okay. really be, okay. It has this to really be your last one. My last okay. purchase okay. was, I didn't even... my last purchase was a Blue Yeti USB microphone. That's, that's clean. The that's, industry that's, standard. That's, that's, that's very conservative. Yep. Father Simon. Um, man, I'm dreading mine right now. Man, I'll I, I, I want to talk about my second to last no, one. No, you talk, what was your last one? My uh, last one was uh, liquid IV. It's the, the stuff that you put in water to... <laughs> okay, what was your second uh, last my one? My second last one was uh, Indianapolis Colts beanie. Because I'm a Colts fan now. Because my man, Philip Rivers, who I've been rooting for since he became a Charger. Because he's a great Catholic. And I want to see him win a Super Bowl. He was never going to win one with the Chargers. I really think that he's going to win one with the Colts. Uh, sorry for this uh, little rant I'm on. That was my second to last one. Yeah, yeah, that was my second to last one. So okay. I kind of cheated. Go ahead. Deodorant. <laughs> deodorant. <laughs> guys. Man, these are boring. You know they have swords okay. yeah, that Priests put on deodorant too, guys. I got sacred reading, the ancient art of Lectio Divina. So that's actually a good book. You should get that book. You should get that book for, uh, for uh, during this whole coronavirus thing. It's Lectio Divina is how to. Who's it by? Tim Gray? Uh, no, not Tim Gray. Uh, Tim uh, Gray has one on Michael Lexi Casey. Divina. Oh. Yeah. Yeah? I'm teaching that scripture class, that's why. Oh, nice. Oh, really? Wh where do you teach? John Paul the Great Catholic University yeah? in Escondido, California. So you guys are uh, moving all your classes online or something? Yeah. For next quarter. That's what I heard? For next quarter. Yeah. Yeah? All of them, huh? Did you, uh, <laughs> did you send your grades in? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did you have like a student? I got yelled at today because of Father Nikito. 
<laughs> Why? <laughs> okay. Anybody want some more chai? Thanks for having me, guys. We're gonna kill this. I'm good, thank you. Um. So you guys want to talk about anything else? We, we should have gone live. Yeah. With... We are. No, like, was this going? No, no, it's not going live. Maybe we could get questions, like, right... Maybe we next could, week we can yeah. go live. You know what? Next week we can go you live. You want to go live right... Go mm -hmm. live right now. I have an idea. I'm going to do a Q&A post. Oh, Q&A post. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too, we're about to stop, man. Are we? No, we're not. We're no, done. We have ten minutes. We've gone half an hour only. Yeah, we're good. Mm -hmm. One second. <laughs> Just keep talking, guys. I mean, do you need it for the rest of it? <laughs> Look, we... I mean... I mean, yeah, what do you guys we think? Could do, we could do half an hour of the first episode. And kind we of could do half an hour. What do you guys <laughs> think? <laughs> this is like over this right Leave now. a comment. <laughs> see, I mean, it's hot in here. No, listen. Go live right now and see if you got questions. Like, that'll be faster than okay. that. Stupid. Like live Instagram. on our phones or on Instagram? On, or on this thing. Oh, okay. Does this do that? No, no. Here, phones because we'll, we'll see them right now. We'll see them directly. We're about to go live. Okay. You, you guys were recording what we're doing. doing. No, no. It's okay. Keep it in there. Should it's fine. Are you recording this? Okay, this is live right now. So, should we do the announcement right now? Yeah, why don't you do the announcement right now, and right. they could see themselves on the video when they watch it. Okay. Hello? Uh -huh. Hi, everyone. How many? There's no one watching. Wait until they watch it. No, no, but, but, but just, you're going to save it on the thing. Just let us yeah. sit there. No, 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 just wait. Just wait. Okay. Well, God's child. What's up, what's Guys, I'm going to eat all these. Wes. Anybody else yeah. want some? What's up, Wes? What's up, Wes? Anybody else want some? Sorry. All right, guys. 16. So, okay. we told you about the first special announcement. By the way, it's me. Father Q, sorry. <laughs> Father Simon, Father Andrew. So we told you about the first announcement, and that was the drive through confessions. Now, on to the second announcement, which is... What? A show we're doing. Oh, how's <laughs> that? Yeah. Have we even said the name of it on here? We're going to have to. No, we're actually you said it at the beginning. Oh, I did? Yeah. Chai Chat? Chai Chat. Chai Chat. We're debating it still. So we have debating? a show we're doing, and we're actually live right now, to be honest with you. It will air soon but we want to know if you guys have any questions that we could answer on the show that we could. monday you'll be seeing yeah. this monday so who has any questions for myself father Nikito, father simon father andrew like actual good questions not this lame oh what do i do now yeah state law like um, tonight. like doesn't the bible say trust god you know why are you closing god's house but we already addressed that you know what i'm saying yeah. <laughs> Father Daniel should have started a live video. Was someone wants to know if there is sanitized incense. <laughs> <laughs> incense is itself about purification. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. What do we do now, guys? Okay. We'll just leave that there. Leave a comment also if you guys want in the uh, in the YouTube video. Okay. So for some topics you guys want us to. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, that's great. So Amanda is saying. Um, can you guys please wear masks tomorrow during the drive through confession? No. We'll be six feet away from you guys, so... You can call... Can you please calm down tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, yeah, by the way. Tomorrow, well... No, they're not... Yeah, you'll be watching this on Monday. We'll have already done this. We'll have already seen how it went. So it's Thursday right now. Yeah. But for the first time, we're going to be doing drive through confessions. Yeah. Yeah. We will not wear masks. Not wear masks. But the way that we're planning on doing it, you, you know, there were people asking us yesterday. I'm you wore a mask. I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, no, I'm fine. Where are you gonna find a mask? <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> there were people. That's a good point. Yeah, there were people asking us. I don't know why. They were like, "Are are are you gonna sit in our cars? Why would we ever? Come on, man. Why would we ever do that? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm gonna end this. There's For the no drive-through confession. No, 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 no wait a minute, bro. Just wait. Should See, you guys, Instagram, if there's any questions. <laughs> He's begging. Ask some questions. We're gonna be on YouTube on Monday. We're gonna answer them right now. Any question has to be a good question, though. Okay? So, apparently, with some photos, thinks we could get masks from where, man? Amazon? Do, uh, does any of the production crew have any questions for us? <laughs> no. We really can get masks, right? No, I think they were up for a while. Home Depot? Didn't you um, go? Yeah. You guys think that we're going to get a lot of people tomorrow for the drive through confession? I think so. Maybe. Yeah. We could. We'll be there from 5 to 7. Any of our Chaldean doctors can look us up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Chaldean doctors. Any questions on there or no? Just no, weird comments. Just, all right. No? Okay. Yeah, what do you bye. think, Father Akito? I think we cut it at a half an hour, bro. Okay, we'll do half an hour-ish. Okay. 
So th- this was our first episode of Chai Chat. That's the name, right? Yeah. Well, listen, you love the name. I liked it. You love the name. I was like... It was better than the other stuff we had. I was like... It was, was Denny is furious about it. You <laughs> liked it? You loved it. When did I said I liked it, it's better than the others. Because the others that's what, See, that's what I thought. Yeah. But it wasn't the one like, that's it. You no. know what I'm saying? No, if you guys have a better name for this... We can change it. Send it to we other change it, it might right? cheer him up a little bit. <laughs> we have a few days. Yeah, if you have a better... So listen, we'll be drinking chai every time. We'll be talking. We'll be chatting. You know what I'm saying? What, what do you say? Nothing. Why you gotta say something? I don't drink chai. Oh, you don't drink chai. Nothing. You know. What do you want to drink, bro? No, I don't want to ask you what you want to drink. No, I'm just joking. So. Wine gladdens the heart of man. Oh, I actually had a uh, a cool prayer from uh, um, evening prayer oh, really? of the uh, Chaldean liturgy about healing. So you guys want to pray it? Yeah. Okay. Let's close in prayer in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hear, O Lord, our God, the prayer of your servants and your mercy. Accept the supplication of your adorers and your compassion, and pity our sinfulness and your grace and mercies, O healer of our bodies and good hope of our souls at all times, O Lord of all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, forever. Amen. Yolabai. Yolabai. Everybody, and God always speaks to us through Scripture. Should I mention form? Yeah, please do.